Hello and welcome to this horrible roleplay tutorial on how to fly the little bird. This is one of the WAC helicopters we have available here in the server. And if you own it you might have noticed that the controls are very realistic and incredibly hard to learn. Well, not anymore after you've watched this video. So, once you get in, you don't really take off just yet. Now, what you're gonna do is you press and hold Q. On the right hand, you have the options tab, you click on it. And here you have the WAC aircraft. You click on it and there opens a lot of settings. That's all about this helicopter. So what you're gonna do is you're going to rearrange all the settings as your likings. On default, the use mouse is uh, enabled, which basically allows you to use the mouse as a sort of joystick to control the roll and pitch of the helicopter. But for simple controls, I would recommend to use your keys. So you click here and disable it. Some, a few options disappear here, so don't bother about that. Anyways. My own controls, what I like the best and which I would recommend you, is to use the keys WASD and your mouse buttons. So I'm getting annoyed here, but I'm just gonna ignore him. Anyways, uh, what I recommend is using uh, W and S to control the uh, altitude of the helicopter for lift and fall. So it raises higher and goes lower with W and S. Uh, here nose left and nose right means the yaw uh, rotation so it turns like this if you press A and D and the controls here arrow left right up and down that's 40 uh, pitch so uh, arrow up means nose down so we, it will basically turn like this and uh, arrow left and right it will rotate uh, like roll to the side so you go left or right not like uh, this but yeah I can do that in the mouse anyways uh, next up is the very most important thing of the mod that's the auto hoover toggle auto hoover toggle is default to mouse 4 well I don't know what mouse 4 is by default uh, like with the button on your mouse Some, most mouses don't even have a button 4 so I would recommend it to change to either the space bar or maybe mouse 3. Mouse 3 is the scroll wheel press button. So you basically, uh, if you press your scroll wheel except the scrolling it, then that's mouse 3. But I set up the space bar because I'm mostly using my keyboard and I don't really want to move my hand from the keyboard to the mouse just to toggle on the out hooker. So I just put up the space bar because I'm not using the space bar for anything else. Now, uh, as default, fire weapon and next weapon is also mouse 1 and mouse 2. But I changed that to F and G because those buttons are not used by me or by any binds or whatever. So, yeah, you know, it's just right at your, right next to your left hand. So it's very easy to control. Now, uh, the last thing you need to notice is the sensitivity and realism. Sensitivity is basically the speed in which your uh, yaw, like which uh, controls. Uh, sorry, the sensitivity is basically the speed in which it reacts when you press the uh, arrow keys or either A or D or something. And realism is and it's it's very hard to explain. I I hope it maybe try to explain it furthermore if I don't then just try it out yourself see what happens just put it in the rates that you like the best just put it at something try it out see if you like it or not if not then change it to something else I currently have it to this uh, I wouldn't like tell you to copy it because every person has its own favorite option so as I said just try it out and see what you like the best now Everything uh, we, we this. 
Okay, so if all your controls are set to which you like the best, I can go ahead and press R to start the engine. Unless you put the button at something else, but R is the default and I just kept it that way because so I would change it. Now, the most important part is using Outer Hoover. If I take off right now, it means I can very much like instantly crash this helicopter. It's very unstable. However, if I press space and turn on Outer Hoover, it basically does exactly what it seems. It stays in one location, it doesn't move at all. It, well, you can make it move and you roll about it. But if you don't press anything, it just stays exactly at the same spot. Maybe it uh, you can uh, lower or higher it, but other than that, it's just nicely here, so it's impossible to crash if you turn toggle on your auto hooper. So I would highly recommend to use auto hooper all the time during takeoff and landing. Once you hit the air, like I did right now, it's okay to turn on auto hooper and you can slightly press arrow up to put your nose down and go forwards. And to go left or right, you simply tap arrow left or tap arrow right to go right. Don't press it too long or too hard or you need extremely hard things, uh, hard movements like I do right now. If you think you're on, almost out of control, simply tap out of the out the hoover on and it will save your ass. So, uh, let me go land straight at Blue Harbor right now, just to uh, show you. So basically, if I'm approaching Blue Harbor, I just wait for the right moment to tap on out of hoover. So, I press on out of hoover right now and it will stop my helicopter pretty much at the right space. Well, not exactly because I'm above water right now, so I wouldn't land here. But just keep on out over and you notice that you have to press the uh, left and right key just a little bit longer to basically override the out over to slightly go to the left or right, just adjust your landing position and if you think it's fine just slowly descend and it's basically perfect landing. There, easy as that. Even a chow can do it. Yeah, so, when you're happy about your position, press R to turn off your rotor and it should be all fine. Now, I'll press R again to start it again because I don't want to do it here. Basically, I still have my auto over on right now. So, if I take off, I should be fine. I can turn it around by pressing A and D like what I said earlier, like this. Now, if uh, I want to go back to Red Harbor, say, it's at the exact opposite corner of the map, so I basically pretty much aim at it. I toggle off out over, slightly move forwards, and it should be very easy to go in. So, what, as I said, to, uh, to have a smooth and Pretty much clean flight in the air while auto hoover is off. Just don't press the buttons for too long. Just tap them slightly for a millisecond or so. It's enough. If it's even too much for you, as I said, hold Q, go to the sensitivity and put it on lower. So it takes you longer to press the buttons and it should be. Uh, more suitable for you. So as I said, just put it on whatever you like and it should be fine. So now I'll show you uh, as last how easy it is to land on one instance. So I turn on auto over, I hold the left and right buttons to adjust with the left and right, move my arms to the uh, left position, I adjust the, adjust the forward position when I'm above it. I slowly move down. And there you go, worth landing. Nothing to do about it. I hope this tutorial helped you. If you have any questions or comments about this video, 
leave a message down below in the comment box or on the forums wherever I want to post this video. Good luck and I hope I see you soon.